It's been three years since we've done this. We knew we had to get students involved. We had over 250 students respond wanting to be a part of something with Veterans Day. My grandpa was in the Air Force and he faced many hardships during his time and doesn't really talk about it. Although I don't know much, I can only assume how it was a difficult time for him. Today is a way for me to show my appreciation to him and everything else he's done for me and the rest of the world. We wanted to see our veterans. We know that we need to honor them all the time, but today especially during Veterans Day. And it's also important for our students to see this. Well, it's very professional. It's well done. It kind of accounts for everybody, and that is nice. Everyone feels welcome and a chance to kind of celebrate what they may have contributed. In 1941, Franklin Delano Roosevelt said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. That quote meant something to the 6.8 million soldiers that courageously fought in the harsh Korean environment. Unfortunately, there were 5 million casualties. Half the casualties were civilians and 40,000 were Americans. I love the program, and I really appreciate what's being taught. Uh, as far as history is concerned here, the, the program really showed that the kids had a really good, good understanding of, of United States involvement in war. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Field. For a lot of guys and gals, it can get quite emotional, actually, because yeah. you don't recognize that as you're doing it. But then when you see the impact as an older person, you look back and go, wow, maybe that made a difference. And uh, it, it hits kind of uh, kind of deep. I think it's really great. Uh, I came out in the Vietnam era, which was the recognition was negative, not positive, And this is a very positive experience. I came home to a hero's welcome with a country that was divided on the war itself. Not the whole country supported the war but they honored the veterans, they honored the soldiers. See, Vietnam vets, you guys didn't get that, but you gave it to me. Sorry, this chokes me up a little bit, and this is probably why I'm here today. So for the Vietnam vets, I wanna say welcome home, and thank you for your service. I am extremely proud of our staff, our students, to put this Veterans Day on and, and celebrate the people we need to be celebrating, the people that we should be focusing on in our community. Remember those who've served because uh, you're, you're living on their legacy, so. And there's a lot of people who served who who uh, aren't here. Celebrate all veterans, regardless of what your views may be. The veteran did their job as best they could, and uh, we can't forget that. Celebrate the veterans.